everybody. Welcome to Fiber Fun with Olivia. I am Olivia. I am a knitter, I am a crocheter, and I am a fiber fanatic. I hope you are too. Or I hope you love somebody who is, and that's why you came to watch this video. So today I thought I'd share some ideas to give our fiber loving friends, loved ones, family members, anybody in your life um, that, you know, is into crocheting, is into knitting. And I thought, you know, some of these for us knitters and crocheters, they might be like, duh, Olivia, but not so much for our relatives, our friends, our loved ones. And I will tell you because recently it was my birthday and my husband, even though I've been knitting, well, I've been crocheting since I was about eight years old. Let's not talk about how old I am right now. <laughs> And then I've been knitting since my 30s. And even still today, when he asked me, oh, you know, let's um, schedule something for dinner for your birthday. And I said, can you take me to Michael's instead? <laughs> and he was giggling because I was so giddy when I was at Michael's choosing yarn. It makes me happy. So even though they know we love yarn, they don't really know, know how much we love yarn, right? right? <laughs> so I thought I'd make this video and share. Initially I started off with 10 items, but I thought of a bonus item. So I'm going to share 11 items that a fiber loving person would love to receive. We'd love to receive these things. We might have some of them, but you can never have too many. So give us another one. <laughs> First, I want to say if you are the fiber loving person that is watching this video, feel free to tag your loved ones, your friends, and <clears throat> hint, hint, <laughs> so that they can see this video and they know what you might want. And number two, if you are a fiber loving person and watching this, please comment down below. What fiber related item do you want to receive this holiday? Because I may have missed what you want to receive. Um, I, you know, I chose a few just to get people started, but you may have some other ideas and this is not the whole list, by the way. So there are a lot more things that we want, but these are kind of a little bit more easy. Um, so let's get started, shall we? So the very first one is a swift and ball winder. If you love someone that loves fiber, loves to crochet and or knit, and they don't have a swift and a ball winder, I can almost guarantee you that they want one of these. Get it for them. They will be so happy. I am going to put some pictures somewhere on the screen so you can see it. Um, a swift and a ball winder. So a swift is a type of umbrella. When we purchase some of our favorite yarns, sometimes they're twisted up into these little things right here. And I'm going to show you when you take it off, some of us, and I did this for many years, we'll put this around something and then we'll like cake it into a ball. We'll make it into a ball. You can do it that way. And like I said, I did it for many years. But when you have a swift, the umbrella to put this puppy on there, and you also have a ball winder and you put them together to work, it's magic. It's magic. It makes this beautiful little cake of yarn where you can pull the string from the center and the ball won't roll around. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Again, I made my own balls of yarn for many, many years, but when I got my Swift and uh, ball winder, it was a whole other ball game. And I, and I asked myself, why did I wait so long? Why did I wait so long? And I bought it for myself. I hinted, I hinted a lot, but no, I had to buy it for myself. So anyways, you will make your fiber loving friend, family member so happy if you get them one of these. I have linked one down below in the description box from Amazon. It is a very, um, I don't wanna say inexpensive because it depends on everyone's budgets, but ball winders and swifts can run very, very expensive, especially if you get the really, really, really nice ones. There's some beautiful wooden ones. 
um, and those can run up there. But the one I, I'm listing down below, it's a combo set. It's the one I have, and I love it. I think it runs about $55 for both of them. Now, you can get the Swift and the Ball Winder separately as well, but I love that these came together at such a good price. So that is number one. Number two, T-shirts, tumblers, notepads, anything that has something cutesy and something funny that's fiber related, crochet related, um, knitting related, your loved one is going to love it. Here's an example. This one is Thrashed. It's a tumbler where I put my iced coffee in all the time. I got it at Michael's and it says Knitter's Gonna Knit. And the texture on here looks like it's knit stitches. T-shirts, um, you know, just look up. Um, there's a ton of stuff on Etsy too. If you look up uh, gifts for knitters and crocheters, you will find stickers, you will find mugs, t-shirts, tumblers, I mean, you name it. Anything that is cutesy and related to alpaca sense of humor, use, E-W-U, there's a play on words for that. Um, anything that is yarny and humorous, we love it. We love it. We won't always buy it for ourselves, but we love it. Number three, pocket size and sharp little scissors. I will show you. I got this for myself years ago, and to this day, I use them. They're little, they're sharp, because we always need little scissors. They're cute, they're pretty. If they're fancy, and they're small, and they're sharp, and they have a little pocket protector, and here's another one I'm gonna show you that came in a subscription box. This one even came with its little zipper pocket. And this, these are foldable, so you're not even gonna cut yourself. You know, it's not gonna like poke through, you know, the, its little pocket. It won't poke through, but they're sharp. They're sturdy. And then you just fold them back up. Put them in your little zipper and they're portable because we like to take our crocheting and knitting to places where we might be waiting for a while. Uh, maybe they're working on our car and we're waiting or we're waiting at the Did bank. It. Post office during this time, right? We like to be working on our projects and sometimes we need some scissors and so we'll pull it out of our pocket um, and we'll use these. So cute, sharp, small and protected, maybe foldable little scissors. Oh my God, they will love it. They will love it. We love it. <laughs> Number four, project bags. What are project bags? So you can find a lot on Amazon if you type in crochet project bags, knitting project bags. Um, There's so many different kinds. My personal favorite are the ones that I find on Etsy. And I like supporting independent businesses that sew, they like hand sew these project bags. Let me show you a couple. See? <laughs> we love our project bags. Let me start with this one. So if it's a holiday project bag, OMG, we love it even more. This is what my Halloween project bag looks like. It is so cute. It is a drawstring and it has my project in there. And so we need all kinds. We need small ones for small projects to take with us again and put our little scissors in there. We need medium ones. We need big ones. Here's another one. Anything sheep, alpaca related, we love it. This one has a drawstring at all, but I have it open. It has a little thing to hold onto it by the side. I love this. I love this. Last one I'm gonna show you is this one. Can you tell I love Halloween? So this one's a little bit bigger. This one has my blanket project in here and they run bigger. They stand, you know, we love our project bags. One or two project bags, we will be so happy if you gift us some from Etsy. <laughs> project bags, we love them. Number five, 
an organizer for either our crochet hooks or our knitting needles. You can look some up on Amazon, but again, my favorite are from Etsy. People hand sew them and sell them on Etsy. You can use Halloween ones. You could use cute ones with sheep on them. I mean, Valentine's is coming up pretty soon. Here's one that I bought on Etsy actually, and I've had this for a while, uh, the little ribbon's starting to fall apart. Um, but look at how cute this is. I love unicorns. I love magical stuff, but here is the front of it. And I have a ton of my crochet hooks there. And this helps us keep organized. Some of them even have the size of the crochet hook. Um, I have some needle ones for my knitting. That's all the way over there. But you get the idea. You can look these up and, you know, even personalize it based on, you know, if the person you're giving it to knits or crochets or both. Um, and they like cats. You can look for cat ones. If they like music, if whatever they're into. I mean, I found one with unicorns. <laughs> so we love our organization tools for knitting and crochet. Number six, a gift card from a local yarn shop. We call those LYS. You know those fancy yarn shops? Go and look for the closest one and get a gift card from there. Sometimes we won't go there because yarn can be pricey there, but oh my gosh, what a treat it is to get a gift card and to be able to go and spend some money on there. Maybe your friend doesn't even know that that local yarn shop exists, although they probably do because who am I trying to kid? I'm always looking them up. Uh, but yes, a gift card from the local yarn shop. If you don't have a local yarn shop, a gift card for Michael's, a gift card for Joann's. Whatever yarn shop is close by, we love gift cards because we can go choose the yarn that we want. Now, if you do want to choose some yarn, you can purchase something at that local yarn shop and ask them, can I give the receipt and it's a gift? If they don't like it, can they come exchange it? Usually they say yes. Um, I would suggest if you do want to choose some yarn, they, they have these things called mini skeins. I will show you one. So it comes with small skeins of yarn from that line and it looks so cute and colorful no matter what colors we like um, as you can tell you know these are kind of fall colors but a mini skein set or an advent skein set they now have and you can again you can look those up on Etsy and you can look them up online uh, independent people they sell the advent sets and they come with you know a little bit of yarn for every day Wonderful gift. Wonderful. You got some extras in there. <laughs> number seven is very similar to number six. A gift card from a bookstore that carries crochet or knitting books. This can be Barnes & Noble. Um, one thing that I like from Barnes & Noble is that not only do they have books, but they have magazines there. So I can go look at the magazine selection that they have on knitting magazines, um, on crochet magazines, and if you want to choose a knitting or a crochet magazine for your friend, look for the holiday ones. The holiday ones, you know, if it's Halloween, if it's Christmas, if um, Valentine's Day is coming up, they come out. So those, those make wonderful gifts for your fiber-loving friends. And not just Barnes & Noble, but there might be some thrift bookstores. I know I have a local thrift bookstore that has a craft section. I love going there because I find gems all the time. So if you have a local thrift shop, give them a gift card from there. Just make sure that they do carry the crochet and the knitting books and let them know, oh my God, I saw this section. So I thought I'd give you a gift card. They will appreciate it so much. Gift cards for books. OMG, we love them. <laughs> Number eight, yarn bowls or yarn holders. That's kind of a two in one as well. Yarn bowls, and I'm going to put some pictures so that you can see, have really inexpensive ones, and then they have really nice ones on Etsy, but they're on Amazon as well. Uh, you put your yarn in, and then you put the string through a little area that they make, or maybe a little hole, and so that way, when as you're using the yarn, your yarn won't roll away. So it's made, you can pull the yarn from the center, or even from the outside. Um, 
and that way and it looks pretty your yarn is not rolling all over the place that is for the yarn bowls but the yarn holders those are vertical and they kind of look like a paper towel holder the yarn holders are vertical so when you have a skein of yarn like this you can put it on the the stick and when you're pulling the yarn again it's not going to fall all over it's just going to be twisting like this as you're using it those are wonderful gifts and you can find bowls or holders at every price range um, you know like I said there's some really nice ceramic ones there are wooden ones there are plastic ones and so you can find something for every budget number nine baskets baskets so that we can throw our yarn into it in the living room and in our bedroom wherever it is we knit and crochet Inevitably, we will have multiple projects, and so we need like separate little baskets <laughs> to throw the yarn in. Or maybe we're considering using different yarns and looking at our patterns. We're not really sure what we want to do. Like I can pretty much say I have a little bit of yarn in my living room. <laughs> but, um, you know, it could be wicker baskets. It could be baskets kind of like the project bags that I showed you. It can be plastic little cute baskets again you can you can decide and you can personalize it based on their likes for the color for the style for the pattern on them so uh small medium and large baskets those always come in handy number 10 and i completely forgot that this was on my list but mini skein sets now i already mentioned them mini skein sets are awesome so um, sometimes they'll come like this I know lionbrand.com has a whole section now a page just on mini uh, skein sets let me look it up on my phone right now yeah I had it up because I knew I was going to be talking about this um, but I'll show some pictures too so you can get a 42 piece mini acrylic uh, yarn sampler you can get a touch of linen yarn minis in assorted packs of six um let's see what else is there a jeans yarn mini so they're different types of yarn and it's a good way to try the yarn um, and get different colors in it and it'll make the most beautiful projects because it's colorful yeah so we love our mini skein sets um, our mini yarn sets we love them so that's also a great gift and last but not least, we would love to receive some wool soak. They have these fancy yarn soaks or yarn soap. It's kind of like woolite, you know, for your for your delicates. Um, I myself do use woolite, but every now and then I like to get the fancy ones. So again, I'll show some pictures of some examples and I'll link them down below. Sometimes they will sell like a little sampler set, for example, like when you buy teas and it has sampler. Same thing with the wool wash. There's like a sampler set of the different scents. Um, or, you know, they sell them in little bottles or big bottles. We love that like fancy wool wash and it smells so good when we're blocking our items. If you don't know what blocking is, it's basically a um, process that we put our finished makes in order to, um, you know, maybe stretch it a little bit or maybe shape it a little bit or just make it look pretty so that it's not all wrinkled. Um, and you have to do that with a soak. Um, and when you do it with those nice fancy soaks, the project comes out smelling so wonderful. And especially if you're, if we're going to gift it, it smells yummy when you give it to the gifty and they're like, mm, it smells so good. So we would love to get some wool soak items. All right, everybody. I hope those ideas help you come up with some gift ideas for the person in your life that loves to crochet and or knit. Um, and if you yourself are a knitter or crocheter, please comment down below. Did I miss any? What do you want for this holiday season? And these ideas, these gift ideas are not just for this holiday season. It could be for Valentine's Day. It could be for birthdays. It could be for an anniversary. Lord knows if my husband gave me yarn for all of those, OMG, and, and he's really good about it. He does know that I love yarn, so he is really good about it. I got some crochet books for my birthday this month, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Again, if you knit or crochet, comment down below, what do you want for this holiday season? 
All right, thank you so much for joining me today and I will talk to you later. Bye.